Year 4 Literacy, Introducing Personification. The first thing you've been asked to do, Year 4, is to have a look at your poem called The Sea. Here is a copy of that poem. It's describing the sea. What is it describing the sea to be like? If we read through it, let's find out. The sea is a hungry dog, giant and grey. He rolls on the beach all day with his clashing teeth and shaggy jaws. Hour upon hour he gnaws the rumbling, tumbling stones and bones, 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 bones. The giant sea dog moans, licking his greasy paws. And when the night wind roars and the moon rocks in the stormy cloud, he bounds to his feet and snuffs and sniffs, shaking his wet sides over the cliffs and howls and hollers long and loud. But on quiet days in May or June, when even the grasses on the dune play no more their reedy tune with his head between his paws he lies on the sandy shores so quiet so quiet he scarcely snores so it's describing the sea to be a little bit like which animal dog isn't it and it tells you that right at the very beginning on the very first line it says the sea is a hungry dog so it's not just saying any old dog this is a hungry dog and these are the sorts of things it would do when it's hungry it wants to get things now one of the activities that you've been given is to find the verbs can you remember what a verb is a verb is a doing word It's a doing word. So I want you to find all the verbs that are in here, all the things that the sea or the dog does. The very first one I can see is that he rolls. So I'm going to highlight that with my pen here. He rolls on the beach all day with his clashing teeth and his shaggy jaws. These are things that they can do. Hour upon hour he gnaws. Now these are all things that humans do or in this case these are all things that dogs do aren't they? They clash their teeth, they roll around, they gnaw things and they might even be a, a bit obsessive about bones. These aren't verbs, but it's something that he's saying. He's moaning about them, isn't he? So I want you to carry on and see if you can find the rest of the verbs in there. And that will help you then understand that it's turning the sea into, into, a, into a, almost a person, into a dog, into a creature, something that's alive. <clears throat> when you've done that, you're then going to have a look at this page and there's a little activity here where you need to match the human quality to the object. For example, what does the candle flame do? Do you think a candle flame would call her name? Do you think it would sang a lowly song? Do you think it danced in the, in the dark? Do you think it crept into the classroom? Do you think it nodded in the wind? Do you think it died as soon as he left? Hmm, I don't know. I think maybe a candle flame danced in the dark, perhaps. So I'm going to choose to match that. Oops, a bit of help my pen worked. To that one there. And the idea is, have a little read. What kind of human quality do you think you could put to each of these things? What could you put to a chocolate cake, or a party, or flowers, or silence, gosh, or the wind? Wow. Okay, have some fun this week with your personification.